book studying viruses and prokaryotes. Why did they put both together, viruses and prokaryotes? Because they found that viruses and prokaryotes, both of them cause diseases. They cause diseases. But are they the same or there is difference between viruses and prokaryotes? Actually, they found that viruses are non-living, non-living, while prokaryotes are living. Prokaryotes are living. So viruses can cause diseases. Prokaryotes, like bacteria, can cause diseases as well, but prokaryotes are living things while viruses are non-living things. So do you have any scientific word for disease-causing agents? Viruses are agents that might cause diseases. Prokaryotes are agents that might cause diseases. Which scientific word can uh, be used to express those disease-causing agents? Pathogens. Pathogens, what the definition of pathogen? Pathogen is the disease causing agent. My question now, can pathogen be non-living? Yes, we have some non-living pathogens. And also living pathogens living like bacteria some eukaryotes non-living there are three types of non-living pathogens or particles what are those three types non-living pathogens like virus by right prion prion let's talk about the composition of the three types of pathogenic particles. They are particles because they are non-living. Number one, virus. It's composed of RNA or DNA plus protein. What about viroid? Viroid, only one strand of RNA. What about prion? Prion only protein. <laughs> only protein. Let's compare viruses, viroids, prions. Number one viruses, DNA plus uh, or RNA plus protein code. Viroids, only one strand of RNA, prions, only protein. So now that's so easy for you to remind yourself. Genetic material plus protein, viruses. Only RNA as a genetic material, viroids, only proteins, prions. Viruses can infect many organisms. There are some viruses that can infect plants, others animals, and others bacteria. Viroids, they infect plant, plants only. 
many types of plants and they cause severe economic impact because of the destruction of many uh, crops. Prions, animals, animals, animals like cow, they cause pooping, spongy form, encephalopathy or mad cow disease. Can prions infect human? Yes, human and the disease, the fatal disease is called creutzfeldt jakob disease. Now we will compare the relative size, sizes of cells and infectious particles. If I asked you which pathogen in this figure is the smallest, prion. Then viroids, larger than prions. Then viruses. After that, prokaryotic cells. Finally, eukaryotic cells. So eukaryotic cells larger than prokaryotic cells. Why are viroids and prions sometimes called subviral particles? They are smaller than the virus. Both of them uh, are smaller than the virus. Why are viruses, viroids, and prions not included in the linear system of classification? Because linear system of classification includes only living things, while viruses, viroids, and prions, they are non-living things. Thank you.